type of person that doesn't hold on to anything. The second there is any bit of anything laying around my house or just anything extra, it finds its way to the trash can really, really easily. Um, which is why this story is so significant. I wasn't gonna cry. Um, um, yeah, yes. <laughs> a month ago, we gathered here as an organization, as um, women in our church, which we do at least once a month. And during that gathering, we made ornaments. And this was something that Cecilia was in charge of. And this is a Norwegian heart. And they hang these on their Christmas tree um, before Christmas, and they usually fill them with treats. And so one thing that she wanted to do that month was for each of us to go around to the, the ladies in our organization that we visit once a month and hand these out to them and put little treats in that they could hand them or put them on their Christmas tree. And so I had four hearts that I made and I took around to the ladies that I visited. And one lady just happened not to be home, which wasn't that big of a deal, but I left that heart in my car. And like I said, typically after a little while, I would have thrown it away um, because it had sat in my car for too long. And just a couple of days ago, I found it sitting as I was cleaning out my car. And it says on here, and it was the scripture that she had chosen, having their hearts knit together in unity and love one towards another. That was the last bit of advice, the most recent advice that she gave to us as sisters in this organization. I thought, how fitting that we are gathering here tonight to put hearts together for her, to show us, to show her how much we love her and um, to show her girls how much we love them. And that impressed me so much. Um, and I thought about it all that day, how we can unite as a community from this and how we can unite as a church group from this. Um, just to show more love towards one another within our communities and within our church. And I am so grateful for her for that little bit that she gave to me just that day to move forward and to show more love towards my children, to show more love towards my neighbors and everyone that I came in contact with. And I, I know that we hear these things for a reason in our lives, to make ourselves better. And I have a testimony of that, that as we live the principles that Jesus Christ taught us, that we will become better individuals. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.